What's going on, Ghost Squad? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to have a battle of the guns. Now, these are two guns that I would not normally suspect, but there has been some people asking, can I compare the CZ and the Taurus? So, today, that's exactly what we're going to do. The CZ P10S versus the Taurus G3. Now, both of these guns I've been pleasantly surprised with. Uh, when I got both these guns, they were the first ones of their respective brands that I'd ever owned. So I was kind of excited about both of them, and they both pleasantly surprised me. But let's take a look at the CZ real quick on some of the specs. It is chambered in 9mm with a capacity of 12 plus 1, a 3.5 inch barrel length with an unloaded weight of 24.4 ounces. Let's take a quick look at the G3. It is also chambered in 9mm with a 4 inch barrel with a 15 or a 17 plus 1 capacity and the unloaded weight is 25 ounces. So what we're doing is we're going through some criteria that we feel that how I judge. Now it might not be how you judge it and you might have a different approach and that's cool. Uh, feel free to make your own video. But what we're going to do is go through the criteria that we're looking at to compare these guns. Now a little caveat to this criteria, this is going to be considered the base and stock models. We're not taking in consideration what you can get aftermarket. It's what comes with the gun stock when you buy it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the trigger. Now the Taurus G3 trigger is not terrible. For a $300 gun, it's an, it's an above average trigger. So as far as trigger quality, we gotta definitely give it to CZ. The second thing that we're gonna look at is capacity. Now with the CZ, you're gonna get a 12 plus one. With the Taurus, you get a 15 plus one and a 17 plus one capacity mag. We're gonna have to give capacity to Taurus because stock in the box, you get a 15 and a 17 round mag. The next thing we're gonna talk about is feel. Now when it comes to feel, the CZ doesn't feel bad. It's got a little bit of texture on the grip and all that, but honestly, including all guns that I've owned, the Taurus right out of the box as far as feel in the hand, the G3 is a fantastically feeling gun, so we're definitely going to give feel to the Taurus G3. The next thing we're going to talk about is concealability. Now, the Taurus can be concealed pretty relatively easy, but the CZ does conceal very easily. I, I carried it for many, many months, and I still do. It's in my rotation. It definitely is a very much easier gun to conceal, but for concealability, the CZ is definitely going to take this one. Now, the next criteria that we're going to talk about is reliability. Now, this was tough for me because... So far, I haven't had an issue with either gun. Now, we can sit there and say that maybe CZ overall historically is a more reliable brand than Taurus, but I can't base my decision off of what historically has happened. I can only go by what I've had the experience with with both of these guns, and so far, I haven't had an issue with either one of them, so we're going to give both of them a tie. They're both going to get the check mark for reliability. And the next piece of criteria that we're going to go by is value versus price. Now, both these guns we're extremely happy with, and I love both these guns. Don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong that I have found with either one of these, but we're going to go to value versus price. So what I'm looking at right now is you get the CZ trigger, a 12 plus 1 capacity, feels decent in the hand, good reliability, and a price tag of about $550 is what I'm finding them online right now. Then you look at the Taurus and you're getting a 15 plus one, the 17 plus one capacity, a better feel. Yeah, the trigger's not as good. It's equally as reliable so far to me. So I'm gonna go by and say for value versus price, I'm gonna give the nod to the Taurus G3. We're saying that as of right now, if we had to choose for a new gun or someone who's looking for a great value of a gun, the winner of this battle is a Taurus G3. So guys, once again, hey, don't shoot the messenger. This is my opinion, and I'm sure I'm gonna get some hate out there, and that's cool. I'm not saying that the Taurus G3 is a better gun, than the CZ, nor am I saying that the CZ is a better gun than the Taurus G3. They both have great things about them, 
and we love both these guns but if we're going to talk about value and for the price and availability for someone who's looking to get a great gun i don't think you can beat the value right now for 300 dollars the taurus g3 so guys do me a favor leave comments i know i'm going to get some hate but leave your comments down below tell me how big of an idiot i am and that's cool i love it so guys thank you so much for watching for some more great content and some product reviews go ahead and check out the playlist down below and we'll see you soon simplify